So here we are, Void Rift Hard, final stages, let's jump into it. Hello and welcome, I'm Mystical, this is Mystical Gaming, we are back into Watcher Realms and this is it. This is the last part of Void Rift Hard before next week we start going over and we start going through Nightmare and getting that done and dusted. Right, let's get up and get into the first fight. Just going to fight here, what we're going to need is we're going to need two fighters or tanks to cover each side. I'm going with two sets of fighty tanks. I'm going for a healer. I'm not sure if we need one. Um, I've got a fighter who does magic damage, so I'm going to put her behind the, the tank coming over. So that's my plan there. And then there's an abundance of AoE. And we've got an archer as well, because when they go into the... Um, when they get petrified, again, that form there. We have a look at it. Look at it. Petrification blessing. Uh, HP is less than 30%. Petrified blessing improves its defense and magic resistance greatly. So let's just get rid of them when they are down in that petrified state. We'll take an archer, but otherwise, to get them down there, we're going to use magic damage to get them down there. And then that's it, I think. Um, I think the fight more over tries to overwhelm you and splits your team. Uh, I think we're all going to be good. Oh, the only other thing I do need to do is get myself out of the way. There we go. That's me done. My abomination can go down. There's a mark for petrification. I'm not overly worried by it. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, the damage being done goes down greatly, but they're not doing anything, so not a major concern. We'll get our wrath up on the other side. Mage sort of AoE can go there, and then we'll see if we can get on the other side, I think that works out well, doesn't it? That's going to cover most of the blocks. Here's the bulk of the AoE. Yeah, everything's cleared, so we're looking good. Looking remarkably good. Right. That's for Silas down there just to help with that petrification side of things. And I think we're done. I think that is the fight over and done with. Um, we're just clicking ultimates onto auto. We haven't used our healer. And we've got a spare slot as well. I think that's all going rather well. Here will come the bulk of the AME. Might have triggered ultimates a touch early. Now we're fine. Look at that. All done. Easy. Easily done. Um, oh, I haven't even looked at the map. What are we doing? One, two, three fighters. Everything about even. Again, the petrification. One, two, three fighters. You fit in. A healer. I know you've got big thumbs up on you, so you should be used. Let's go. I think this will do as a team. I don't really know. Now they've got some airborne units, haven't they? So I'll have to watch out for those and see where they are and what they're doing. The only one that concerns me is up at the top right. Can't remember this stage at all, really. And I'm still in the way, aren't I? Let's get me out of the way. There, gone, right. Back to it. So, first one's coming down. There. Second one's coming that way. Third one's coming that way. Oh! Hello. <laughs> You're quick, aren't you? Bet you would arrive first, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. Quite tight on coins, so do make sure you watch your coin usage. We fighters out now. Here come the airborne units. I'm really lucky here. I'm going to be able to hit the airborne units. But bear in mind, those airborne units fly from here to the center and then back up to the top. So they are going to come towards you, but you will need some form of airborne unit to take care of them. You have more than one mob over there, so you. Vortex's range is here, so we can place up here without any issues. 
and then we just want some single target damage for the center then don't we let's take you and i think yeah click on to auto and we can we can nod off i think that's it done placement's all good here they come here come here they come again Yeah, we're good, we're good here. Got a nice placement of enough to cover that bottom right spawn point where the airborne units are coming from. I think if I'd done this again, I would put Silas over onto the left hand side here, just above um, Aaron, just to face the right, so he was covering off these airborne units, but. I don't think there's a need to do it. At all. I think we're easily going to clear this. Here come some more airborne units. Morrigan doesn't take them out. Then I expect arrogance too. Yeah. Last mob. There we go. All done and dusted. Another one bites the dust. It's like I was saying before I was interrupted by fight two, I think at the end of this we'll have a look at everything we've got, we'll have a look at the rewards in total and we'll make a note of them. And then we'll have a look at what we get in Nightmare to see where that tipping point is or where you, how many fights in Nightmare you want to do before you, um, you jack in doing hard. So anyway, right, next fight, what have we got this time round? Oh, we haven't looked at that, we can't. I'm going to put the map on the fight on the champion selection screen. One, two, three, healer. One, two, three platforms. Three fighters, one healer, three platforms, right. Three fighters, three platforms, and we need someone who's not platform based then, don't we? So that is a fighter. Who should take you? We've got you as a thumbs up. Who should we get rid of? Let's get rid of you because we want to keep everyone else. Right then, what are we doing? First one comes in there. I think it's just going to be a slow build up of the team. Next fighter or next healer. Nothing else is really happening. I don't think we're taking that much damage. Oh, come on. There we go. Sort it out. And now the healer can go down. That way covers off the three tiles in front. That would do there. You going across there. Now just waiting for a few more points. We'll be able to help our arrogance, although I'm not too sure how much help he actually requires. And then lastly, we've got a fighter to put down. Let's take a gamble. We're going to put you right in the center and hope we can... Oh, we haven't even hit the ultimates yet. Let's go. Right, there's the ultimates. We can trigger those off. Might trigger those off at the wrong time. Maybe auto wasn't the way to go. But I think... I think the team is good. I, I think the concept of it's fine. Yeah. Not, we don't take that much damage. I, I assume this is another one of those fights where they just try to overwhelm you. Um, we don't want the spawns getting too big, do we? They can amalgamate on top of each other and grow and grow. I think that's where you're going to start to get issues. So if we can um, keep them to a minimum. So Nox does some really good single target damage with his ultimate. That will help keep them down. When they're in the um, petrified state, Silas is going to be there because they up their defense and magic resistance. So we've got that Issa damage coming in. And then we've got Falkia down there. Now she does true damage, doesn't she? So she shouldn't be affected by that petrification. Uh, are we done yet? I think we're almost done, aren't we? Look at the size of that blob. There we go. Ah, oh, going down now. Everyone's ultimates come off. There we go. You're dead. Easy. Right. Right. Here we are. Let's go and have a look at our team. Yeah, we sort of know what's happening anyway, don't we? Um, 
can we clear this is going to be the question isn't it right then what do we want yes yes on you yeah, probably although maybe not I don't know <laughs> yes we want you right so this is the plan I'm using for the first first uh, that that right hand side of the map um, I intend to put abomination down to stop and get in the right hand side I'm going to use Razak to um, kill the people who are spawning or on, on the far right hand side and I'm going to use Dolores to, to buff all the skills and things like that I think that will work my plan at the moment and then I'm going to need another healer take a hollow right what do I now need I'm going to need a ranged fighter is what I want and that will be you or you let's come back a second and check what damage do you, you don't take it you've got no preference on what you get hit by okay so stick with the longer range then we are going to need an actual tanky tank aren't we so let's take you single target damage let's take you and i'll need another fighter to come up behind him you're not maxed out so i, I worry about taking you to be honest and we don't have a northerner lord and take you instead that's the rough plan right let's see how this goes okay let's jump into it then so first issue is whether abomination will live long enough to carry away being there with only Dolores healing him this would be the first issue we face this may have to be swapped around for something else now Razak's going here because I want to take care of the two people that pop up here they are a colossal pain and can really sort of change the way the game is being played or how it plays out for you so there's Dolores's buff oh didn't quite get them I think we're pretty much there aren't we dead dead right sorted so follows down there range fighter it's all a matter of just making sure we've got enough DPS to take out the boss who was spawned shortly we'll slow it down when we get to the boss part so there's our tank, it will hopefully tank the boss for us, those could go really wrong. And then we're going to place Arrogance here behind the boss. went down straight away right you have to do this again we're taking a more tanky fighter This will be close. This has not worked out the best way forward for us. Got more ads coming around now. That's not helping. Arrogance is nearly up. Whether he'll be one shot by the boss or not, I don't know. There's Hollow. Get her up and running this will be close 
Wrath. Right, the boss is down. Right. Now we've got issues. We, we can get rid of you. You're going to cover everything. You're covering a fair amount. Yeah, essentially, I think we're now in a good place. Now. But that could have been really bad for us. Maybe want a tanky fire instead of arrogance. It might not be the best place. Or arrogance instead of vaults. Swap them around. You'd have to see how that really goes for you. I think when a, uh, Olag's back up, we'll be able to pop him in front there. But we've got seven, eight mobs left to do. Right. Quietly confident now that the boss is dead and we've got everyone back round. Not ideal and quite a scrappy version of the fight. Now speed this up. Do the bit more, a touch more damage on Razak just to finish them off. That would be nice. Hollow can be triggered now. As long as we avoid too much of a build up on, uh, on the slimes, I think we're going to be all good. Yeah, two to go. There's that one slime there, there, die and kill this one slime. And that is us done, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. Hard done, let's move on to Nightmare. That was a scrappy fight. It was not best version of it at all. But there you go, it is done. So, that's it done, don't need to go back there. I could have worked on it a bit more, but that's it. Um, Gear-wise, to be honest, my first run failed. I had to re-gear Olag. So, well, I'll just chuck on some. Let's go on with this. There we go. Oh, I don't want to leave. Right. So that's it done. There's 100% done. There's everything we get in storage. So let's have a quick look through that. Not sure if it'll count it up for us when we automatically claim it. So that is everything we've got. Let's hit the claim. Yeah. There we go. What are we bothered by? What aren't we bothered by? I suppose I don't care about the gear. I don't care about that. One crystal's not really anything being worried about. XP is not brilliant. Stamina is nice, but not essential. Yeah, so. Gleaming meteorites, that's about all I care about, really. So if I can get more than 92 on Nightmare, then I think I, I would do Nightmare. I don't think there's anything else here that would really, really worry me. That is hard done. Uh, I hope this has helped you out, and I'll see you in a video again soon. Please do the old thumbs up, like, and subscribe to help me out. And then next week, just put, start pushing on, and we'll do some guides towards uh, Nightmare. If you've got any questions or any tips or anything like that, put them down in the comments below. And then maybe after we've cleared Nightmare, what we might do is go back and do these are teams that people produced, and we, we will pick and mix and match the, the best teams for each stage. Okay, right. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, happy gaming. I'll see you in a video again soon. Cheers, then. Goodbye.